Welcome back, mobile home investors. John Fedger here. We are going into a closing today to see my attorney uh, on this beautiful day. We're going to go ahead and close on a mobile home on private land. Uh, it's going to be real quick, going to be real easy. The seller isn't even going to be there. Uh, they've already signed papers, so we're going in later. We're going to pay a little bit of money to close this deal, wrap everything up, and then we are the owners of a used mobile home on land. Let's go inside and uh, talk to Dan and get this property closed. Are in closing now with uh, one of the best attorneys in the world here. Only go with the top quality that has all the awards in Texas. Uh, Dan Castro. Hey, John. Yep. Um, and uh, what now is uh, Victor signing here? So this is what we call an assumption warranty deed. Uh, this is the document that I recommend that you use whenever you're buying a property that has an underlying lien on it. Um, essentially what you're doing is you are stepping into the shoes of the seller and taking over their debt. Now the difference between this transaction and the old way of doing this is you're not asking the bank's permission. So this is called an assumption without permission. That's sort of the lay speak for it. Um, legally it's called an assumption warranty deed. So basically what the seller is doing is it, literally the language here says we're giving you title to the house in exchange for you assuming the mortgage on the house. So you're trading value for value. You get a house, but you also get a responsibility. Okay, And this protects you and it also protects the seller because the next document you're going to sign over here... Yeah, Mr. Right there. yeah. Mm -hmm. we have Victor here, trustee, someone I trust <laughs> to the ends of the world, and signing always as trustee. Mm -hmm. Correct. Two different people. Okay. Um, so these are all the legal descriptions here. And then the next document you're going to sign is called a deed of trust to secure the assumption. So the first document says I'm assuming your underlying debt. This document says if I don't pay that debt you can take the house back. So this deed of trust is security for that assumption. Okay? Okay. So you're going to give us your address here. Uh, initial each page. They initialed in the wrong place. They should not have initialed this one because this one is your document. Uh, they just got initial happy. So I created another line here. You're going to initial everywhere you see that blank and then sign the last page. Trust right. Okay. Well, there we are. We just wrapped up closing. We're now the proud owners of a great mobile home. Stay tuned uh, for a video on that. We'll take a walk through of the home, exactly what we bought, what our plans are for selling it. Um, but that's great. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, take care. Wanted to take you through another quick uh, property tour of a new acquisition that we purchased. It's a, uh, can't remember the year, it's a 2000 something mobile home. You can tell it's a 2000, or it's definitely after uh, 80. Uh, two because of that pitched roof. Uh, you see it has a wheelchair ramp here and a fenced yard. So it's going to be able to have a, a small pet here, somebody that's handicapped. It's very accessible. On the front uh, patio here, you see that there's a number of uh, material and junk that we have to get rid of still. There's actually two lots. It's this lot right here, which is fenced, and then there's another lot right behind it. We, pitch, we picked up both of those. And uh, the, actually, the second lot is buildable as well. We got kind of a two-for-one deal here. We picked this one up subject to, see all the appliances in working order, central heat and air, stove, dishwasher, fridge. Uh, we had to uh, pay for closing, of course. We had to pay one month back uh, uh, payment to the bank. And uh, it was a total of just under $2,000 to close. That's the entire closing. We got the home. We own it now. Um, and... Uh, I'm going to do a separate video. You can see the sun setting there. That looks nice. Now, this is not the lot that we have next door, but it's not. Uh, there's nothing that's going to be built there, so that's going to be nice. This is the master bedroom. It's huge. It's a very good size. Double closets. Nice ceiling fan right here. The master bathroom. Big size tub. Everything that you need. Shower. Uh, let's see right here. We have the back door which we're not going to go out. Let me show you the other lot that we went ahead and picked up. It's right past uh, the shed right there, and we own all that back there. Not as far as you can see, but a half acre back. You see that the next door neighbors are in uh, another mobile home, so it's a street full of mobile homes. Everyone is uh, really nice. Everyone's really polite. This is out in the country. You have a big, wide open living room, and if you've been through a mobile home or a home before, it's kind of a two uh, bedrooms on this side, one master bathroom, 
The uh, second bedroom here is a good size. It's the entire length uh, of the mobile home, the, the uh, 16 feet wide. You have a closet on right over in that corner. And something about the third bedroom, you're going to notice in most, there's a full bathroom in here, but you're just looking at a blank screen right now, central heat and air. And uh, this, is the sec this is the third bedroom. It's a little bit smaller because it's going to be cut off by the hallway. So instead of being 16 feet wide, uh, you're going to have to subtract 3 feet. Uh, and then the this bedroom is obviously the smallest. You can still fit a full-size bed and a bureau or a dresser and TV and things like that. Uh, here's another picture of the backyard and the neighbors. Everyone's really nice, like I said. Uh, and this is going to be a good deal. We're probably going to rent this property out. We may sell it with owner financing. We're not quite sure right now. If we rent it, we'll go ahead and let the property appreciate while it's being rented and uh, then sell it for cash later on down the road. We have those two lots, so we can go ahead and build on the other one, which is going to be kind of exciting and fun. It's already zoned for that. Uh, there's already the utilities running to that lot because there was a mobile home back there. So this was just a great little deal that we picked up. Again, $2,000 that got us into the home. It is subject to, didn't have to qualify for a mortgage. Um, and uh, we'll show you on another video exactly uh, what we did and what we plan on doing as an exit strategy and how we got in this property as well. Thanks for watching. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of the numbers um, and talk about this particular deal. So this is a single wide mobile home. Uh, it comes with those two lots, like I said. The second one behind the home is buildable that you saw. Uh, it's already got a pad there, already got the utilities, power, electric, uh, running out uh, to the property. So all we gotta do is bring a home into there, uh, in, in, into that lot. Um, there's already an easement running alongside the other uh, mobile home, the one that we walked through. So let's go ahead and just talk about this really quickly. So we found the seller. Uh, they called off of one of our uh, marketing campaign pieces, a letter, and uh, they were selling that mobile home that you saw that we just went ahead and walked through. And there's a mortgage on the property. Now, typically there's two forms that show ownership. There is a uh, deed to a home uh, when it's on land, when it's attached to real property, and there's also a mortgage uh, or in a, in, a, in a loan. So typically the name on the deed and on the loan and the note or the mortgage uh, are the same, but that's not always the case. And what we did is we actually took control of the property. We were at closing, you just saw that, and now we are the owners. So we went ahead and used our special contract to take the deed and the mortgage and the note, that is right now, it's still in the same place, it's $28,000. And we talked to the bank already, they know just what we're doing. We left the note and the mortgage in place, now we own the property, we own the deed, so we're purchasing this home subject to the underlying note. Now the term subject to is just a blanket term, uh, typically it's kind of popularized as buying the home subject to, and that's a technique, and that's what people will say, but really what they mean is we're buying it subject to the underlying note, the underlying mortgage. That stays in place with the seller's name still attached to it, um, and we do not have to get approved for this loan at all. So we do have the deed now, we own it. Now the seller tried to sell it to a buyer, but through poor marketing, uh, poor marketing and the seller's need to sell quickly, they could not sell this home. So that's why they contacted us as the investor, and that's the seller. So now we own the property. Now, what are we do, gonna do with it? Well, we may rent it, we may sell it. So we haven't completely decided that right now. Let's talk about numbers because those are fun. So there's a $28,000 underlying note. That's payable per month with taxes and insurance included. It comes to $500 and fifty dollars per month. That's principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Now there is a high interest rate on this, about nine percent, which in a mobile home isn't that bad. Uh, I've seen them go up to fifteen percent, and if we sell it, we'll probably ask for something around fifteen percent. Uh, however, right now we're paying nine percent. Not the best, uh, however certainly not the worst. So with that being said, we're paying $550 every month. The seller was one month behind. The bank was calling them saying, hey, where's our money? We don't want to have to foreclose. You know, tell us what you want to do. So uh, with that said, they were one month behind and closing costs for this property came out to be $1,400 
uh, it was like, I think it was 1423 and uh, that total together is under $2,000. So we paid just under $2,000 to get our foot in the door to this single wide, to the one that you just saw. It's beautiful. Now, we did have to put uh, carpet uh, in the home and do a little bit of cleaning. That came to roughly $1,000, uh, and the home's ready to go. So we're into it right now for, th for uh, $3,000. Any way that we decide to sell this with a move-in uh, fee of around 10000 and we recoup our money instantly and then make a quick seven and then can cash flow it for the next 15 to 20 years, or are we going to rent this property, which is what I'm thinking that we might do because this is an area where the appreciation of the land is going up and up and in the, next, in the foreseeable future it will continue to rise. So with that being said, not quite sure what we're going to do if we're going to give this to a, a buyer uh, or a renter. But uh, those are the numbers on the deal. That's how we picked it up. Uh, and it was just a really great deal. It was win-win, and it'll eventually be a win for our buyer as well. The seller is super happy that she was able to get out from underneath all this. She's now out of state, uh, very happy. So thanks so much for watching this. You can do this too. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to comment them below. Subscribe to this video. Like it, please. That would be great. And I will see you.